test one two let's go hit it hello little man welcome to the FFF podcast come to you over the internet to your face hi guys welcome to triple f's aptly named podcast i'm triple f chaos and i'm joined today by robin but and uh rob oh no wait rob's not here he's been replaced by scotty uh say hi guys oh hello. hi hello okay i got confused there between but and scotty but never mind <laughs> Is that it? Is that all you're gonna say? You're just gonna say hi. hi. Well, you, the, only, the only thing you used to us was. Well, he just said to say hello. He didn't say introduce yourself. Exactly. Right? Thanks, mate. Thanks. Cheers, Robin. I'm a Christopher Walken. Now listen to FFF on the web all the time. You should too. All right, guys. Uh, this is our first real podcast. Um, there's going to be errors and things that we did wrong. There's going to be things that weren't planned. Uh, but everything's going to go fine. Of course, it's going to go fine. But that's the fun of radio. Okay, so our first topic this time round is uh, the player of the month from last month, which was June. Was it June? Um, which, it was June. surprise, surprise, everyone already knows because it was announced before the podcast even came out. And it was uh, our very own Butt Monkey. Say, thanks, Butt. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so happy. <laughs> I just want to be like, oh my fam. I want to play this to our peace, my family, my supporting fam. I like to thank all of you. You make me so happy. Yeah, so despite the size of the actual clan, I think it was quite surprising how only three people got votes. Yeah. Yeah, there was, uh, I can't remember how many it was, but there was uh, some for butt, some for speedy, and one for sex. Well, I'd probably help if there oh, were more members. Oh, sorry. And uh, Hugh, Hugo out. voted for Robin for doing the website, even though technically he started it three days before the competition ended. <laughs> and he hasn't seen any of it yet. Yeah, I was going exactly. to the organisers as well. Fix. There's always next time. <laughs> Chill buds. Yeah, don't fix it next time, eh? Uh, does anyone even know the top stats from last one? I know Speedy yeah, was, was uh, Speedy, then speedy Dave. First. Dave, um... uh, Speedy first or second, was it not? Yeah. Was it Saxon third? Uh, I, I think, think so. so. Well, well played, boys. Congratulations, well done. Uh, well done. Congratulations, Bobex. <laughs> well done. I wonder what Christopher Walken thinks about Battlefield 2. Hmm. <laughs> what, do, what, what does Christopher Walken <laughs> think about Battlefield 3? Should we ring him and ask him? Yeah, let's ring him. I think we've. Let's have a look. Is he still staying at yours, yeah? No, I think he's went home. Let's give him a oh. ring. Let's uh, see if he picks up. Oh, let's ring him. Hello! It's Chris! Who's this? Hello, Chris. Uh, it's uh, Boat Monkey. Just want to know your thoughts on Battlefield 3? Well, looks pretty pro. The graphics, cinematics in your face, explosions, bullets, bodies. It's gonna be great. Right, uh, he's just hung up. Guess that's all he wants to say about that. Huh, well, at least he's making a guest appearance. Just, uh, get straight to the point and hangs up, and I like him. <laughs> that's always the way with Chris, though, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, did you guys get to see the E3 footage for both games? Nope. Well no. played. Oh, the extended version. I think so. Where he plays the normal, he's on the bridge shooting with the, the yeah. saw gun. Uh, that was the first three or four main clips, was it not? Yeah, then they extended it, was it to all, like, the sniper on the roof as well. It was all spliced on it. I prefer the tank gameplay. Oh, I saw that the other day, that was pretty oh. awesome. I bad uh, it. That was that was the much nuts. Take out the rockets one boy one. Yeah, one sure boy one. Sure In Battlefield take, Three. Take out the rockets one boy one. <laughs> Do an enemy and play. 
Are they going to um, be mixing the voices over here? Are they running out of voice talent? Hello, uh, Captain Price. You there? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Do we uh, take out rockets, sir? Take him out. Pick it up. Roger that. To be honest, though, um, looking at the stuff that I've seen for for Modern Warfare, it really doesn't look like it's got anything on um, Battlefield. I mean, graphically, Battlefield's got it. But gameplay-wise, because I've not played any of the Battlefields, I don't really know what to compare to. No. I, I don't know about yours, but I've played a few of the Battlefield series. I think I played the demo actually for um, Bad Company One. I actually liked it, um, but I don't know. I think it's because I was used to playing Call of Duty Four and Modern Warfare Two. I was just used to that sort of style of gameplay. It was a little bit different, and I don't think I liked it. But I think that's because it was different, and at the time I was a bit like, Ugh, "I don't do change. Don't fix what isn't broken." That's it, mate. Don't do it. But that's. Don't. I think that's exactly what Modern Warfare Three will do. It will. Rather than going back to what was good about COD 4, they'll try and take it in a direction that it actually can't go. What makes you think it's going to do that? Well, the, I think they've tried too hard now, because Battlefield 3 kind of turned around and went, ah, oh, we're going to come out at the end of the year. And then Modern Warfare turned around and went, fuck it, we'll do the same. Yeah, but to be fair, there are, all the games are on a <clears throat> two-year cycle, aren't they? So every November... Well, I don't know, because the thing with Call of Duty is they are pumping them out every year. People are going to start getting bored of them, whereas Battlefield hasn't released one for, what, like two years, three years? Mm. And all right, Black Ops it was made by different people than Modern Warfare, but at the end of the day, it is still Call of Duty. But then if you look at Treyarch with World at War, that was a fail. Oh, that was a dire at- fail. Treyarch with Black Ops, which was compared to Modern Warfare 2, a fail. They said it was the best selling PC game in the world, probably because of the hype they built about it. But, uh, exactly, yeah. it was the build up. Because there's that many it. people playing Modern Warfare 2, like, oh, oh, must have yeah, that thing. Every year when the new one gets released, it's going to break the previous year's record because everybody wants the new, fresh first person shooter every year, and a lot of people will just buy it. It's like all trends, though, isn't it? People buy into it yeah, when it's popular yeah. and then. Yeah. Lose interest rather quickly, like everyone did with Black Ops. Which... Yeah, I think, I think Modern Warfare 3 will lack because it's two different companies that are making it. The names is I can't it... remember. Is it EA doing Modern Warfare 3? No, no it's EA's, EA's doing, doing Battlefield. Battlefield. Yeah. Uh, ah, I know, but I thought they bought out the. Uh, no, no. Activision. Activision and. Dice? The Dice? No, it's not Dice, it's. Um, is it Hoax? What, doing Modern Warfare? Aye. Um, Sledgehammer games. Infinity yeah, yeah. Ward and Sledgehammer games. And Raven Software. Most people normally uh, do the research before doing a podcast, but uh, <laughs> we like to find out. That's it, aye. During. No, it's, yeah. well, it's it's a random chat. We didn't realise we were going to be like going in-depth about designers and all that type of stuff. That's the best we're, thing we're... about real radio <laughs> podcast. But yeah, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, Raven Software. Yeah. Software, Raven Software will be the people who do the multiplayer. Well, so, I've got it in front of me right now. Raven Software will handle the online portion. And looking at Wiki, yeah. And the Infinity Ward will produce the <laughs> single player. It's actually my best friend, Google. Listen. So what random chat we got? Well, um, I don't really know. Um, what about that? It's always been a big <laughs> comment this week. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the the lull of the week, isn't it? Every time Rob comes in, it's always for the. I don't know what the days. It's like a sensation. It's happening soon. It's lacking a bit of um. It's lacking a bit of wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> I do seem he likes the buttery biscuit base. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, going going back into random chat, uh, there seems to be a little bit of a competition going on between uh, Robin and Butt at the minute with their uh, monitors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I, I did receive a new package this week. So if you guys want to see it on the website, the uh, form is linked. So. My new monitor arrived today. And if you uh, want to join in the competition, just start the post off with, So, 
Mind you want us to arrive today and post your pics. So do you think this, you there seems to be some uh, rather funny ones? I mean, there's Dave attaching it up to his uh, 50 odd inch TV, and there's Messer attaching it up to his six inch little box. I'm strong. I have to well. say, I think Messer yeah. has, has got the edge at the moment. Oh, yeah. IBM for the win. So, said, con congrats, Messer. Like you like seem to be winning that competition that at the more. moment. And then uh, all of a sudden, we all talk over each other and then nobody talks for about 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, one thing I actually want to do uh, during these podcasts is set challenges for people that actually listen to take uh, pictures of certain things like taking poses or uh, showing off medals that they may have won. <coughs> hint, hint. Um, but basically the, the winner will get announced on air and then we'll set another challenge. You're not really going to win anything, but that's you may not do. the point. Wink, wink. <laughs> ah, Just yes, Harley because if you if you win a medal, you could then take a picture of you wearing your apt medal, doing whatever pose we decide you to do. That's if you actually want to take part. Or indeed, you actually listen to the podcast, which I think we might have six views of the original little we'll clip one that it is. very dedicated fan from Afghanistan who closely monitors every movement. Sorry, I've lost... I've lost track of what we are talking about. <laughs> it's random, man. I, I, I'm, I don't in, I'm in the world of my own here. You don't even go on the forums, do you? Me? <laughs> he does not know. <laughs> Where's Rob? That's the forum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, monkey. Thanks, mate. No, because he goes on the forums, you see, so... Uh, where's Rob? All oh, right. We don't want Scott. Well, I, I do go on the feel, feel the love I in know, this I, uh, I, room, I don't you? I knew what you were talking about with the... He's got the biggest monitor. Yeah, but it's not always about size. I mean, I've got two. I like having two monitors. That's it, mate. It's not about size. It's about how you yeah, use it. Yeah, DP, bit of a... How you use it, son? DP stands for digital picture. Exactly. A bit of DP. Digital picture. That's exactly what it means. A little bit in. It's analog. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, analog negative... A native. Now BJ is a bad junction. That's it. Aye, aye. <laughs> so um yeah, sp speaking of um funny things with uh, abbreviations, um we went to the pictures yes. the other day to watch um Transformers. The and, pictures. Are we yeah. in the 1930s? Shush. Cinema. I went to the cinema. The picture house. I went to the cinema. Our older listeners, e.g. JMO. Um. <laughs> And basically, she turned around my mate's girlfriend, and uh, she goes, "Oh, my mates think that I'm all geeky and stuff." So I turned around to her, and I knew that she was um, she was using a a Mac laptop to do whatever she does on the computer. So I said to her, "What what's um, what's your computer's OS, if you don't mind me asking?" And she turned around and went, um, "Does it even have one? It's a Mac." That was the comeback. Does it even have one? It's a Mac. That's that's a question I'd like to ask you. Sure, that means that means she's got a vagina. <laughs> she doesn't but understand then these things. We we looked into it and it she goes, Oh well it says Leopard OS. I didn't realise that OS meant operating system. Well then you're not really much of a geek then are you? Depends how you look at it. So then I just started spieling off binary code at her and just made what her go, she means go is away. She wear tight checky shirts and put thick black glasses on. And takes a mice and, and, pick. And, and pens in a pocket. Yeah. And an 8 bit tie. Yeah, I'm so geeky, look at me. Shut up, bitch. She's just <laughs> geek chic. <laughs> okay, I knew. 